Hi, I'm Andy Gojri of Investor Intel. We're here at PDAC 2018. I'm joined by Bryce Bradley of Thunderstruck Resources. Welcome. Why, thank you very much for having me, Andy. How's your PDAC experience been so far? It's, so far, I've been pacing myself. I've been in bed early every night, but it's only Monday. Still have two more days to go. It's been highly productive, though. Highly productive. I can definitely see that there's an energy That's in the air. Yeah, it's can nice. you give us some update on your projects in Fiji? Yeah, so we just announced uh, recently uh, uh, results of our copper porphyry. We did some work on it just before Christmas. All the results came in showing that it's at least a kilometer in size and uh, open at depth. We don't know how deep it is. So we're going to go back in in the next month or two and do some mapping and IP on the, on the porphyry. The two high-grade zinc copper assets that we have that were drilled by Anglo, we're in talks here at PDAC to do joint ventures on, on those two assets and uh, as well as the copper porphyry, in fact. The gold asset that we did some work on recently, we're gonna go back in again in April and do some, we need some more surface work. So everything's going, uh, our season runs from April to November, so we'll be back on the ground very soon. That's wonderful. How is the gold market chats here at PDAC this year? I haven't really been uh, in to, it's been more about zinc, okay. I'd say. Gold. Let's touch on zinc. Yeah, there's been, there's been a lot of the Japanese and the Chinese have, in particular have been approaching us for our zinc assets and copper, but uh, primarily the zinc actually. They, so that might be the first deal that we do would be on the zinc assets. There's a lot that we all know that, that there's a supply crunch and, and there's a lot of demand for, for zinc and it's probably gonna go on for a long time. They need the metals and uh, we have them, so. And that's what your shareholders are looking to hear. It is, yes. Yeah. So I think this 2018 is going to be our year, finally. We have all the permits and place we can sign a deal tomorrow. Or as soon as a group does their due diligence, we're, re we're ready to go with uh, landowner agreements and we have our license renewals. Like, we're completely set as soon as we can get on the ground right after Easter. Wonderful. And for Thunderstruck, what do your shareholders expect in the next quarter or two? The next quarter, I know they want to see us do, well, drilling. Uh, currently, we're not going to do the drilling ourselves. It's very, very expensive and the copper porphyry is very deep and, uh, and we don't know exactly how large it is yet, so it needs some real love on it. So we do want to get a drill program underway with, with a partner, hopefully. Uh, and we'd like to drill off one or two ourselves after the share price. We get a healthier share price as soon as we get some more momentum going, which is 2018, I believe. <laughs> so there's word that there was an announcement that you made on your advisory board. Yes, I'm very excited to say that we ha now have Tookie Angus uh, on our advisory board, and we're, we're very technically sound. We've, uh, you know, we've, we've hired, we have two new board members that are geologists, Lawrence Ralston and Linnea von Hessert, uh, and we have Chris, Chris uh, Ravel from Apex Geoscience is our qualified person, but on the capital market side, Tuki Angus has done seven billion or more in uh, mergers and acquisitions uh, since 2008. And he runs, he's chairman of K92, a company that's in Papua New Guinea and San Marcos in South America. So he's, uh, he, he knows everybody and he gets deals done and it's exactly what we need at this stage is Tuki. So I'm, I'm, love, I'm so glad that he accepted. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. Well, we appreciate you stopping by the booth today. Thank you very much for having me. This is a great show. I'm really happy that I came as usual. It's wonderful here.